Hello, welcome to Kitty Nero Diaries on the 12th of June. I hope you're well. And um, yeah, thanks for all the uh, comments on the last video and uh, the new subscribers, welcome. So just a quick update then. The car is coming up to 103, 103,000 kilometers and there's a service at 105,000. So I've just booked that in and uh, I've also, um, I've decided I'm gonna change my front tires. Um, They've done about 50,000 kilometres now and they're still well within the legal limit. In fact, the garage said, well, you don't have to change them. But, you know, I'm a bit funny about tyres, um, especially uh, the, the front tyres on a front wheel drive car. You like to, I like to keep those in really good uh, condition. I don't like to take any risks. Um, so, yeah, there's still three, three mil of tread comfortably on them. But uh, I'm going to change them. So, you know, this again puts together another uh, anti-EV uh, meme that um, electric cars burn through tyres much faster than uh, uh, ice cars do. Uh, I've certainly never had a front wheel drive ice, ice car that's done much more than 30,000 miles um, on, a, on a set of tyres. So I'm going to get those changed sort of back end of next uh, back end of next month. So um, on the subject of EV haters, there's a kind of a little bit of an EV hater watch. Uh, we know who they are, the nonsense people like M Guy in Australia, the well-qualified engineer and lawyer as he claims to be, I'm sure he is, but uh, you know as always he's in it for the clicks and the cash and he fails to give any kind of context to some of the stuff that he says about EVs. And of course one of the things that he goes on about and many others is that EV sales are collapsing, nobody wants them, um, EV sales are down. So just give a, uh, just put him right there and anyone else who thinks that uh, that is the case. So globally in Q1 2024, um, 3.1 million EVs were sold which is 21% higher than in the first quarter of 2023. In Europe, those numbers are 219,000 EV, EVs were sold in April alone in Europe. That's 11% up uh, year on year on, so on the previous April. Uh, in France, uh, in May, we've got the numbers now for May, 36,700, sorry, 36,267. EVs were sold in May. That's 21% higher than May last year. And uh, the market share for EVs is pretty constant here. It's um, 21%. It was 20.9% in April. So I think it's telling us something, and I'll go on to that in a minute. In the UK in May, 37,897 EVs were sold, which is 12% up on the previous May, uh, in May 2023. Uh, with a market share of 25.6%. Now, behind all the f fossil fuel company sponsored nonsense that comes out of channels like M Guy and Jeff Buys Cars, and I th there's a few others that uh, you'll f find your way to if you're interested in. Um, but one of the things that keeps coming up, of course, is that um, EVs are still more expensive than the equivalent ICE cars. And of course, they're absolutely right on that. Um, but, you know, then again, we've got the situation where EVs are still relatively new and then there aren't so many of them in terms of choice. I mean, um, ICE cars have been around for decades and there are many, many versions of just about every model, uh, you know, different engine sizes, different, uh, you know, other, is, it, is, it, is it a four door or a two door or a hatchback or a saloon or an estate car? You've got far more uh, choice if um, you're buying an ice car um, although that's changing I mean there are new models coming out all the time recently we've seen uh, the um, Citroen EC3 uh, is now starting to arrive in um, in the dealer showrooms here in France we know we've got the Renault 5 coming there's the Kia EV3 which okay it's still above 30,000 euros um, but uh, it, you know, the prices are coming down. The prices are converging. So you know, considering that there's not so much choice and the prices are still higher, um, the fact that you know EV sales growth has slowed, it hasn't gone down. It's slowed. I think it's quite right. I think the market, the customers, are saying to the car manufacturers, look, you know, we want 
this we don't want that um, we're happy to buy an EV but um, you know you're still not in the right price bracket and you know this this is a signal for the manufacturers to do something about it anyway so just to put to bed the idea that EV sales are falling they're not they're not globally falling they're not falling at a European level and certainly they're not falling in the UK or France so sales are continuing to rise not as fast as they were um, but they are still rising so I think this revolution is going to carry on uh, that all the investment is going into EVs um, or there's certainly a lot more investment going into EVs than there is into internal combustion and of course battery manufacture is, is climbing all the time um, so yeah I mean it, it it's a small hiccup the, this it's not going to be smooth but you wait and see what happens later this year and early next year here in France We'll have the, the Citroen EC3, the Renault 5, the Renault 4 is coming. Um, there's just going to be a lot more choice of models and the prices are going to get keener. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed listening to that. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.